but yeah so an update on this hurricane it became a hurricane can you hear it All right, guys, so it's already about 2.30, 2.27. Um, I'm already done for the day with work. On Fridays, we only work till 1.30. So what I'm going to work on right now is I'm going to make some lunch. I had a bag of chicken drumsticks that I had in the freezer, so I went ahead and took them out this morning to defrost. And I also always have a jar of mole on hand. Uh, I'm going to get started on my rice. I'm going to make quite a bit, not too much, maybe like two cups, because tomorrow Jason's been craving beans and he wants me to make him some chato beans. to Walmart really quick um, it turns out that that tropical storm is headed our way so they're saying it should make landfall like early in the morning um, I am gonna head to Walmart and just pick up some necessities you know kind of just to hold us off through the weekend and maybe a couple more days after that so yeah I'm gonna head that way and um, I won't vlog it because I assume I bet there's a lot of people out there I can just imagine all right, guys, so um, it's Saturday, um, Saturday, 1 o'clock. But yeah, so an update on this hurricane. It became a hurricane when I look on Facebook. Um, like South Padre Island, they're already starting to feel it. So yeah, so we're just here. My main concern is the lights. It never, ever fails whenever there's a storm that comes through. Uh, our lights go out so we're good we have our candles uh, we bought candles yesterday when we went to Walmart um, we have our, our flashlights we have our portable chargers for our cell phones charged just in case we're hoping it doesn't get like that but because we are further inland from the coast so we might just feel some sort of surge but you know my prayers out to everybody who lives along the coast here in South Texas you know they're gonna feel it they are evacuating some areas down the coast so it's about 445 kind of give you an update um, I started making some beans I have a small pot here I usually make a pound of beans but that's usually when I have like a big crowd and it's always just enough so since me and Jason will be the only ones eating chato beans, I went and made half a package. So I have the beans boiling here. I'm gonna get started on the other stuff that goes into it. But really quick on the storm, it's made landfall from the last time I looked. Um, the eye was already coming over land. And this is over here by like Kingsville, Texas. That's where, um, like, it made, where it made landfall. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm pretty much further inland here in the valley, in South Texas. So we are gonna feel it, but not till later. So status right now, looking out the window, it's windy, not crazy windy. This is how it is. I don't know if you can really see it. But that's how it is. You see the trees. So yeah, let me go ahead and get started on the veggies. So...
this cooking, which is the onions and the bacon and all that, um, I'm going to make the kids some pigs in a blanket. So, yeah, so they want pigs in a blanket. I bought little Smokies yesterday. <clears throat> I like to make these for breakfast sometimes where I will cut it up into little pieces and I'll mix it with eggs. So it kind of becomes like sausage and egg. That's really good. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them in some biscuits and um, so you can make little pigs in a blanket for them. And then this beans here, the rice that I made yesterday, that's going to be mine and Jason's dinner. So let me show you how I make the pigs in a blanket with the biscuits. So when it's the big um, biscuits, I like to break them up into half like this. I usually prefer the smaller biscuits, the ones that come in the longer tube. But this is all I have. See? So then you're going to grab a weenie. And then you're going to place it in here. Do it however. And then you're just going to fold it over. That's it. You can also do this with hot dogs, like the weenies. That's what we call them. You can cut the weenies in half and put them in here. You can do it like that as well. Here they are. Um, let me show you how they look. Let me put a little bit of butter on it. Yeah, so that noise you hear, that's the rain. It's coming now, down now. It's coming down a little bit harder. Um, I'll show you, look. Let me show you how it looks so far. No. I don't think you can see much because of the screen. But you see the trees. Look, I'll show you in a minute. Let me just butter these really quick. There you go. So let me go show you really quick. How it looks. I'll just show you right here. Just trying to get an idea of how it's getting. That's all it is. Just really like a storm coming in. Show you one. See? See how they look inside? Let's try one. So, these are my beans. What did I do with that yet? All right, so this is the status, and just like I said, the lights went out right when I was washing dishes. So, There it is. This is what we're going through right now. Um, I've been looking at the weather map and it's projected probably about 1.30 in the morning. Here in the area where I live, that it's gonna get really horribly bad. Like where all the red is gonna come straight this way. So, earlier it was really windy. You can see it, let's see. I just want to show y'all really quick what we got here. So we have, a, what is that right there? Which this, one? the Die Hard? That it, is an inverter. An inverter, we can charge your phones and everything. And then of course, Jason brought out all his flashlights. So we're good, we're just sitting here. Um, let me show you. So it's dark outside already. We cracked open a window for pressure and also um, for pressure and also it actually feels really nice with the cool weather coming in, the coolness. OK, 
Can you hear it? Um, so just a quick update on what's going on here. It is about 12.30 at night and we are still without light. Um, but we're here watching Insidious. We have the laptop going. Um, we do have a hotspot that allows us to uh, be able to play Netflix. Or what is this, Netflix? Is this Netflix? We have, we have a hotspot, so we have like... No, I, I'm just asking, is this Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. So here we are. Hey guys, so um, I'm coming in here really quick to end my vlog. It's Sunday already and it's about 7.30 in the evening. It got really bad. Around 3, 4 in the morning is when it really came down. There's a lot of wind damage like all over the area. That's like what caused the most damage. I have damage to my roof, I have damage to my fence. Um, we had a covered patio with the roof and everything in our backyard, that's completely gone. It fell over and pushed the fence over into the neighbor's yard. Our pool table, like literally just broke in half. Um, we have, like I said, roof damage, which caused leaks into the living room. Um, but our light did turn back on around five o'clock in the um, evening today. Um, they turned back the, the lights, they turned the lights back on. It's been a really long day for us, like a long, exhausting day. So I am taking advantage of the time and I am editing this video. Um, status on the storm, it is still raining. Um, it's thundering. It's been raining nonstop all day. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys stuck around this long to the end of the video, because I noticed it's a, quite a long video. Um, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us during Hurricane Hannah. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.